hi. This video was made because I was trying to create uh, on the SASTA conference site a chemistry uh, subpage. I decided to create it so during the workshop I know the way around of the site. Uh, but my problem is that I'm not teaching chemistry and I don't know the um, subject outline of year 12. So uh, I went around trying to get help from um, uh, very significant teachers for our school. So I want you to remember the three elements of uh, a virtual learning environment uh, is uh, that we have a platform, an online platform, which is this Google site. And I have to have some uh, YouTube videos and I have uh, to have some documents and a PowerPoint presentation for the students to preview before they come to class. And then in the class have some important discussions. So in order to solve this problem, uh, I want to get some sources from very significant uh, science teachers in our school. When I'm making this uh, little video, I know that uh, I was given sources, but I thought it's a good idea to show to you how you can find some sources on the spot. It's not for those experienced uh, teachers of the workshop, but for others who really try to get their head around resources. And I want to show you my little tricks, which I use when I start teaching. And for example, you are getting a new subject, you don't know where to start uh, from. There is out there so much information, so many, read, many already made videos and PowerPoints and quizzes that you don't really need to make it out from the beginning, or you can change something. Okay, let's start from the beginning. <coughs> I emailed uh, my dearest uh, friend, Dan Bonicioli, and he sent me a link of... Uh, screencasts or vodcasts on a subject and because he is teaching uh, IB science I thought okay let's go and see what's happening with our school uh, site so I went to Glenalga Moodle and um, I um, logged into the science uh, to get an idea what the others are doing in chemistry, year 12 chemistry, not IB, so, uh, sorry, wrong button, and slow internet, so stage 2, science, now it is too long because I'm quicker than, okay, stage 2, science, and I wanted something in chemistry. People have it on the Moodle. Moodle is another online environment. So I thought, okay, analytical techniques, something like here. And uh, I say, well, what is in here, what they have? Oh, I don't like it. I don't know much of this to go around it. Uh, let's go back to um, another chemistry. And... Uh, uh, I want in here and I said, oh yes, I know this I know electrolytic cells Okay, as you see, the Moodle and that's the difference between this environment is that people have their Moodle as a filing cabinet I don't want only this I want some more so I went here, click that and I found the link of a nice video Okay, which is here, it's this one I opened. Okay, so this person found it online and used this. Now I want to put that on my site, so the usual way I highlight this, copy, I go to the chemistry conference, I'm into the editing, you see, I'm into the editing part, I click here to show where I want to insert my video I go insert YouTube 
click here on the highlighted window, paste the link. I can see this is the video going to work. I want to make it a little bit bigger as usual. I'm writing here electrolytic cells and I'm saving the video that I want my class to watch before they come to class. But mm, I'm not happy. I don't want this only. I want something else. So I'm going back to editing and I want them to take a quiz. I am a member of the Quizlet. Okay, I have made my own quizzes but I can find quizzes. So I'm writing here something like I was looking copper refinement uh, but, uh, uh, and I have uploaded that because that was electrolytic refining was talking on copper and I uploaded uh, a thing on uh, a quick quiz from electrolytes but now I'm going back and I want copper refinement uh, I can't find anything related to copper refinement so I'm going to write electrolytic cell and I'm may I can create or I can search for a already made set which I can send to my students quickly or can link on the site for my students quickly so they can um, practice. Uh, somebody has created this, they're happy to share and I'm reading okay what the terms they want the students to practice spontaneous, spontaneous, so there is a test where they give them this kind of uh, questions and the student has to identify spontaneous, not spontaneous uh, whatever, it's electrolytic set, or I can have this one that says oh, loses electrons, gains electrons I want them to know this yes, I would like them to know this I would like them to know this so what I'm doing is I can always edit it, remember, but that's another subject, so I click here and uh, I highlight control C this I go back so I don't lose where I was I go now to my chemistry and uh, I'm clicking here sorry and I am entering uh, the second uh, quiz uh, take a quiz on electrolytic cells okay so I highlight this and I link so it will take me straight to a new web address, a new site, a new URL. Open the window. Okay. Save to show you what is happening. So now, this is the site. I want them to try before they come to class. So they can take a quick quiz to know, check themselves. So they get first read this and they can go and go learn and they're learning the terms and they can practice or they can uh, have flashcards they go to the next one or they go another way yeah. or they can take a test and the beauty of this is that when they take the test they will mark it and they will check the answers I will take the test very quickly so you can see what's happening so I'm not um, reinventing the wheel sometimes I need to make my own 
uh, tests and I have made them. I'll show you how I made them in psychology. So that's not only giving you that's wrong and correct. Oh, I had the correct one. But they give the answer. So that's immediate feedback and the students understand yeah, I had three, four correct answers. And then they can create new tests and they can try again until they get it. So this is the pre or the post practice. I hope you understand the, the beauty of this, but we're not discussing quizzes now. We're discussing, I'm going back to the side, sorry about this, how uh, I have used that. Now, uh, I'm going back to the chemistry site. I'm going to edit it. And the same way, I can go and add, uh, for example, this one. So the students get the terminology. Again, just a repetitive. Highlight the link. Copy the link. Control C. Go to the site. Write exactly what it is, this one. Terms of voltaic cell quiz and then I click here on the link choose web address control V or paste click that so it's open on the window ok save if you do it two or three times it will be easy. But that's not the only one I would like to do. I would like to add a uh, PowerPoint. And I'm not ready, but I would like them to add a PowerPoint. So I have my own PowerPoint, but this time I'm not happy because uh, um, it's new. So I'm going to this nice, actually, site, Power. Point share okay and um, let me I forgot it I think that's the one done it's power show sorry made a mistake so power show power show it was PowerPoint here once upon a time. Power Show and uh, dot com. Millions of PowerPoint presentations from teachers in this year. You can upload um, and you can share more. So uh, you can search whatever actually you want here. Teachers for teachers. And of course you can uh, change them or you can um differentiate them. Uh, for example, I here want you to write electrolysis. Draw lysis because electrolysis because that's what I want. I'm searching. And I have all these PowerPoints and then uh, I can have this, I can have this, I go through and I choose. Uh, and I can alter them according to, for example, South Australian uh, curriculum because they are um, made from America, but they have great ideas. So, before, I don't want to go, but I will show you this one. For example, um, this is what I think it would be nice. Okay. And you click download. Okay, this is in Chinese as well. Great for my Chinese students. And it gives me the ability to download it. Okay, I save it. I'm not stealing it, it's there. And I don't want it to show things uh, that how they do it, but it's downloading here. I have already downloaded this. Okay, I found the same site. And I'm going to show you how, for example, 
what's in there yeah which is really good if you un give credit yeah it's amazing so I have downloaded uh, I have it on uh, the files and I'm going to upload it to the site so I'm going in folder I want to remember where the in folder is so it's downloading and um, sorry here yeah, it is okay so I have saved my pictures in a Sasta subfolder so remember so now it is there I'm going to my site editing and I can add a file and I will upload this open theoretically I'm uploading my own work I'm not saying to upload somebody else's work but I want you to see how now the file is there uploaded and the students can click here and download it. I'll write here student version. So it is yeah, it is easy for them to get the theory early. So save and it's downloading. I will cancel it because there's no point to have these things there. And I'm saving it. Okay, now the students can have access to this. And uh, because I really am a control freak, I'm writing there and I'm asking them, please. Um, access the information on the PowerPoint before the class. Have few questions ready. Okay, so here I'm going to link this. So they can access it from here and there. We go right click. I want you to see again version 1. Right click, copy link address because now I don't want to download it. I want to have access to the link. So I'm going to highlight the word I want to be hyperlinked. I'm clicking to insert the hyperlink. I'm giving the web address all the time. Control V. I'm copying that link. Okay. Open a window. Okay. And save. So now the students can access it from here. Again they will be able to click here, go to version, click to version, and see it, or download it. I'm not going to download for third time. It's the same thing. But this is not uh, the only one I want them to know. I want to have also access to some theory I want to have some pictures on my site so from the PowerPoint I have created from the information I have already opened sorry about this I'm waiting okay I enable editing I want to do something here okay um, for example I want I don't know what I want. For example, I want this. Okay. And I'm going to highlight this. Um, so that's a text. Okay, because I want to show you how you can copy and paste on the side text. 
and uh, I'm going to my site I'm creating sorry I need to go a little bit higher okay again editing on and in here I'm going to write oh, right here put table uh, insert row below because I want to use it here I put that there. and so I, in here I will write please read through sorry my English the following and um, I have an example ready in your mind class discussion. So I'm preparing them for what is going to be happening in the class. Okay, and as you see, I copy and paste it. I go here, I'll do it one more time because I did control V and I forgot it. Click here, paste, and it's there. I have it two times, you see. So, uh, I'm deleting the rest, and now it's there, I can highlight it, and I can change I can highlight it. And put this. I can highlight it. And save it. This is me. You can choose whatever you want to do. But the purpose of this was to show that while making the chem site for this conference, I was uh, able to find sources on the spot for self-testing through Quizlet, a PowerPoint through PowerPoint Share and PowerShow uh, to have on the spot quick uh, information, to access YouTube videos and put things like this. I'm going to show you how I did that. Go to YouTube and write YouTube Electrolytic Refinement. And this is how I found mine. Uh, I'm going to watch this. I like it. One minute. Nice, quick. Oh, this. Okay, watch this. Open it. It's in the class on the web site, which is made for teachers by teachers. Electrolysis is the same. I'm listening. I like it. I've seen 60,000 views. That's good. I like it. So I highlight it. Control C. I go to my site and I edit. Sorry. I edit here table insert a row below click here oh, as we said insert YouTube video control V make it the same size this is a video I want I like it what's the title of the video it is uh, electrolytic cell something like draw the tick cell and next time the students asking me what about this I don't have it I can make it or I can find it and this is sorry it's saving and this is the other one 
sau Don Bonicioli, the person who started this for me, uh, is doing pods, his own pods, and he's applauding. Some they're very successful. I want you to see this. Some are not so uh, important, but oh, because they're for IB, so it, the audience is not strong. So I'm highlighting this the same way. And I can uh, access it. Oh, I like, I want to discuss this. I like ionization. And I can uh, find it immediately. And I want you to see if we go earlier. Dan is doing exactly this. He is having his PowerPoints and he is putting voice over his PowerPoint the same way all of us are doing our podcasts. So the students can have 24-7 uh, the teacher at home to revise and get better. So that is how quickly I think you see that was real time. All the video is real time how long it took me. If you have your sources, it will be easier. I have the sources for biology. The next video, when I make the site of the biology, um, will be there. And you will see how somebody has given me their sources and I'm adding their sources on the site. I hope that was useful and you can revisit it when you want.